The question is asked, how to lace a baseball glove? Well, it's a little bit time consuming, but it's something that's not that hard if you take your time and learn how to do it. The first thing you're going to need is a needle, a baseball glove needle like this. The hole up here at the end is just like the needles that you might use for other uses for sewing something in that you, you have to purchase some of the leather like this to restrain your glove with and that leather basically fits through this eye of the needle up here so that you can use it to go through the various holes that are already in the glove. You basically pu push the needle through with the point, pull it through just like a needle and thread and go through the glove and restring it just as it was restrung in the first place. Now, I would suggest that as you try to restring your glove that you take it apart in pieces rather than trying to restring the whole thing at once. Because you can see this glove, it enters and, and exits the gloves many, many times, especially in the webbing area, as you can see. So take the glove apart, remember exactly how you took the, the glove apart and how you took the, the uh, existing leather out so you can retrace your steps and take the leather right back through the exact same sequence that you took it apart. You'll see that the glove has a lot of knots in it. You need to remember where that the knots are because that's where you're going to tie off your various, uh, your, uh, various runs that you're going to make with this leather. You will need several pieces of leather to rest restitch the entire glove. I would suggest starting with the, the webbing first since that's one of the most complicated things. And then if you need to restitch the rest of the glove, then you can go to those various positions. You're going to need several pieces of leather to restitch it and one of these restitching needles in order to go through the holes in the glove. And that's how you lace a baseball glove.